What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Entwine Rope, aka Entwine Rope, here back at it again with another video. And today we are back discussing The Mandalorian. So I just recently finished watching episode 3, and so we're just gonna jump right into it, go over a little bit of summary, discuss any, anything I noticed, any Easter eggs, and any predictions that we're going forward. So, episode picks up right where it left off in the last episode um they uh mando and the frog lady are heading off to the planet so she can meet up with her mans so he can go ahead and uh help help with the eggs get them all all uh, fertilized situated in a hatch there so they can keep their species going um ship is still a mess down bad down horrible uh, so they they have to crash land on the planet that they're heading to um, and they they end up missing the the landing dock altogether and just crash into the water you think oh no like what could happen what's gonna go on here but they end up getting saved um, a little little robo thingy pulls them out of the water and shortly after that frog lady sees frog man and they they hug and as, as stated last episode, Frogman knows where Mando can find some more Mandalorians. So he, he sends uh, Mando off in that direction to meet up with someone. They let him know, yeah, we can uh, help you find some Mandalorians. You just got to, you know, talk to this dude over here. Go talk to Squidward over there. So Mando goes and he talks to Squidward. He's like, hey, you know where I can find some people that look like me? And he's like, yeah, but it's going to cost you. We got to get on a boat and everything. And so Mando's like, sure, like, I, I, you know, I'm big paper stacks over here. Like, whatever it costs, yeah, let's let's get it. Let's get to it. Um, so they're, they're on the boat. But little does Mando know, it's a setup. It's a setup. He's getting set up. Who, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not Mando. Not Mando. Um, but they're on the boat. And Squidward and his boys push baby yoda into this there's an opening on the boat that opens up to water where they try and bait in creatures or if they're fishing and they they push baby yoda in there and some sort of sea monster like swallows baby yoda the his his crate his carrier does close to protect him but mando jumps in after him like he's, he's not gonna let baby yoda go out like that but the the squidward people they close the gate, so so Mando's stuck. It looks like you know, there's no way he's gonna get out of this. Squidward shut the the, the gate on him. They're they're swinging on him, and out of nowhere, more Mandalorians show up. They take out all the Squidwards and they save Mando, and they even go down there and save Baby Yoda. They come out and save the day. Mando thinks he, he finally found the Mandalorians he's looking for. But then they take off their helmets and he's like, oh, hell no. Like, this isn't what we do. And we come to find out that it's actually uh, Bo-Katan and some other Mandalorians, like from from Clone Wars, if, if you did watch that. Um, and they go on to kind of separate their Mandalorian group from from what Mando follows, they say it's kind of like a secret religious cult that went off and want to restore things to, to ancient ways. Um, but basically Mando's like, yeah, I'm good off this. And he dips. He just flies out. But there, there are more Squidward people. He's he's walking on a bay and they're like, hey, bro, you, you killed my brother. It's time. You know, it's smoke on sight. We have beef. But out of nowhere, once again, Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians pull up and they save Mando. And they offer him a deal. Bo-Katan's like, you know what? I can help you find some Jedi to bring Baby Yoda to. 
if you just if you just help us out we want a small little favor there um and so that ends up with uh they want mando to help them storm an imperial ship so mando agrees you know he's really about that life it doesn't matter what it is he'll do it if it's gonna get him to his to his goals his quest you know be like mando don't don't ever let anything stop the grind okay that's that's a lesson from this episode but he drops baby yoda off with the frog people which they they always kind of hint towards like maybe baby yoda's gonna eat some more of the eggs um but they he he leaves them there while he goes off with bo katan and her squad to go up to those imperial ships um Mando's under the impression they're just there for the cargo, like they need to steal off some weapons. And they get up there, they're uh, stormtroopers, of course they can't aim, and they get taken out pretty easily. And so they make it all the way through the ship, through the cargo, they take out a couple of uh, Imperial leaders and some of the stormtroopers. They end up sending a bunch of them out the back of the, the cargo door. And at this point, the the leaders of the ship in the in the cockpit there, they call out to Moff Gideon and they're like, hey bro bro, we need a little bit of support here. Like we're getting worked by these pirates again. And Moff Gideon basically he he hears it, you know, the pirates, the Mandalorians basically taking everything so he was just like yeah i don't know about that one chief like y'all know what to do just uh go ahead and commit sudoku for the empire you know just take him down with you we're not gonna help you y'all be easy okay and so they they try to crash land the ship but mando and the other mandalorians end up forcing their way up to the ship and are able to stop it from nose diving just at the last second after that Bo-Katan telling them like you know we're gonna we need to take the ship back and Mando's like uh yeah nah nah I'm good I'm good off that that wasn't a part of the deal and Bo-Katan she ends up telling Mando where to find Ahsoka Tano so Mando leaves the ship and Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians go off to go do whatever it is that they're gonna do and I'm sure we'll follow up on that at some point later in the season probably not within the next two episodes probably sometime a little bit later down the season we'll, we'll follow up with them but Mando leaves to go get baby Yoda and we see that his ship is sort of fixed um sort of it flies it flies so they 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 go on and they're heading to the planet to try and locate ahsoka and that's where this episode leaves off so bo katan and the mandalorians head out and mando and baby yoda also head out but to go find ahsoka um so a couple things here one at the very last frame you do see a piece of the ship it's like a piece of metal come off and that just leads me to believe that that you know that part's going to be important because they lingered on it for so long so maybe they won't get to go directly to see ahsoka because they're going to have more issues they'll probably have to pit stop at a couple more planets and go through some other adventures before actually getting to see ahsoka but when they see Ahsoka, it'll be interesting to see if she like takes Baby Yoda under her wing and recognizes that that's, you know, same species as Grand Master Yoda. Um, so that'll be interesting seeing her like teach Baby Yoda the Force and <laughs> Baby Yoda with lightsaber. Love to see that. Um, but I think that's where that'll go here probably in the next several episodes. I don't think in this upcoming one. And I do think that Mando will end up linking back up with Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians. They'll probably end up needing to work together, all of them, between Mando, uh, Bo-Katan and her group, and Ahsoka, to defeat Moff Gideon and get that Darksaber. 
And so that's that's really where it leads off in my thoughts on the episode. I thought I thought this episode was really good. Um, a lot of people had issues with the with the last episode. I thought it was still fine. It, it wasn't as good as the first episode and wasn't as good as the third episode. But overall, all three episodes have been entertaining and I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, let me know what you all thought or if there were any Easter eggs that you picked up on. Um, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And also, let me know what you think will happen in these next episodes here. And also, how can we forget, um, they left us off with Boba. Like, where? how, how is Boba going to come back into this? Because he's still searching for Mando and his armor. So, Mando, uh, uh, Boba Fett's still a, a loose string at play. And I feel like the end of the season is going to be so good when all of that comes together. But we're going to wrap this video up. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And as always, it's been your boy, Entwine Rope, a.k.a. Entwine Rope. And I'm signing out. Peace.